Hi everyone, today we're going to play with some sounds in the LEGO Spike 3 version of the Spike app for Spike Prime and we're going to use all these purple blocks on the side. There's two main types of sounds you can deal with. You can deal with tones or beeps, really beeps, and also other sounds. So to start with we're going to play with the beeps and the beeps are pretty awesome because when you click on the number like number 60 there you'll see a keyboard come up and every single note on the keyboard has a different number that represents that note. So if you wanted to do the lowest note there, you leave it on 60. And if you wanted to add some more notes, you can. So if we wanted to play something like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, we could duplicate that um, first note a few times. So I'm just going to leave it on the first note and duplicate that so it plays the first note twice. And then I'm going to duplicate both of those by holding the mouse key down or by pressing down on keeping your finger down on the tablet you can duplicate notes and then you proceed to change the numbers on each note to match the keys that you're supposed to be playing so if I wanted to play two notes low then two notes higher then duplicate that and just want to go for the high note the highest notes twice you type in the numbers that match the keys or just press on the keys and duplicate whichever ones you want I'm going to duplicate that because I want the fifth note to play for a bit longer so I change it to 4.4 of a second and then the rest are going to play two times again so let's go down the keys 65 key and then the 64 key I think let's go 64 yep um, the black keys count as well so that's why the numbers are a little bit different to what you might expect you might expect the next one to be 63 but it's actually 62 because we can't we're going to miss the black note okay and keep duplicating as you need them. The last notes, the bottom note, we just need to type in the 60 or tap on the key and type it for 0.4 seconds because it's a bit longer. So when you play that, it'll come out of the hub and you'll hear it. Wasn't that beautiful? And that's how you make the beeps work. The beeps aren't that interesting really, unless you're really into playing the piano. <laughs> But the one that we use the most is the sounds, and the first default sound is a cat meow sound. And if you play it until done, you'll hear the whole sound go from start to finish, and that's great. But if you press uh, wait half a second, then play the start sound option, then you'll hear that it, it still waits. But if you just do start sound without until done, you'll see that it gets interrupted. So if you don't mind your sounds being interrupted, you can just say start sound. But if you don't want the sound to be interrupted by another sound, you'd say until done. That means it'll play it until it's finished or done. So I prefer to say until done so my sound's complete every time that I use it. Um, but you'll see that there are lots of options. You can, there's a big library of sounds. You don't just have to have them make a cat. You can hover the mouse above them and you'll hear the sound uh, previewed. Uh, or you can type in a word and select a sound that's similar. There's lots of options to uh, play with here so you can decide if you want to trim the sound, you can cut off the end of the sound or you could even cut off the beginning of the sound. Um, so here's an option, you just scroll, you just drag the little black dot at the bottom of the frame there and you'll be able to trim the video, you can cut off the start, you can cut off the start and the end if you want. So you just got a bit in the middle and it might sound like this. Okay, but don't forget to save it if you want it. If you want to save it, if you want to keep it, press save. But there's lots of different um, sounds that you can edit. You can make them play um, a little bit louder or a little bit quicker, a little bit slower. You can make them go a quicker speed or a slower speed. And you can choose um, lots of different options. Okay, you can even make it play in reverse. You'll see that the, and the picture sort of reverses and the sound reverses and you can make it softer and louder in, even in reverse so that's pretty awesome um, you can type in uh, any word you like and hopefully there's a sound there sometimes there's the, the, it's pretty limited to the library that's here it's quite a good library but um, if you don't have the sound that you really want then there is an option later on that you can record the sound but you can grab a sound like this one and you could decide to edit it if you want it make it a bit louder and even a bit echoier can you hear the echo 
yeah, echo me, it's not really a word, but we'll move on. Okay, and if you want it, keep it that way, you should press save. Okay, and then you can select it from the list below, and whenever you press play, it'll play that sound that you've selected in your edited format if you've pressed save. So there is an option now to uh, create a sound. Boo, this is a test. Can you hear me? Yes, you can. Once you've recorded your sound, you press save, and then you'll be able to select it as record, recording one or recording two, whatever you've, how many you've done. And then you can actually go into the editor and down the bottom right, you can see recording one. And it doesn't look loud enough, so I would make that a bit louder. It's This is a test. Can you hear me? Yes, you can. You can kind of hear it, but I think you need it a bit louder. So you can press and make it louder, louder, louder. You know, we'll get louder. You can even add echoes. You can make it sound like a robot if you want. And it gets a bit too distorted here, but it just shows you some of the options. A robot voice would be pretty cool, I think. Without. It'd be cool without the echo, don't you think? Anyway. So there's lots of options to edit your sounds. And after you press save, you just select it from the list there and whenever you press play it'll play the sound it comes out of the tablet or computer though it doesn't come out of the hub unlike the beeps so you can play with the pitch of the sound which is how high and how low the sound is by using the pitch blocks and you can adjust the pitch by a number or variable depending on how much you want it to increase or decrease so by default it changes the pitch by uh, an effect by 10 uh, it's on a scale of 1 to 100, so if you, normal sound would sound like this, but if you put it in a loop, you'll notice that it will change it every time it plays it by 10, so it will gradually get uh, higher and higher forever, <laughs> or until you get sick of it, you can decide how many times it loops if you like. Uh, you can also decide that it might, you might want the sound to go down or lower, so you can change it to a negative number and that will make the sound play downwards, as in lower and lower and lower. But it always starts off with the default sound that's already saved on your device. So it doesn't actually save it as a high sound or save it as a low sound. But the pitch is quite interesting because it works with all the sound effects. It doesn't work at all with the beeps but it works with sound. You can also check out the variable of the volume. You can change the volume of the sound in the same way. So we could actually add a negative volume um, variable. Say for example if we chose this sound effect, the alert one, we could make that get softer and softer by choosing this block here which is change volume by minus 10. And when you press play, it kind of gets, it's hard to tell at the start sometimes, but it does get softer and softer. Now you might think that's pretty cool, but you might try and make it go louder and louder and louder. But it sort of starts at a default of 100. So even if, if you made it a positive number like, 10 and you wanted to get louder and louder and louder, it won't. It won't go any louder than 100, so it sounds pretty much the same the whole time. So you can't really make it go louder unless it's already soft to start with. Today I thought to myself, I wonder if I could use my own sound. I've got some MP3s I like to make them play automatically on my Spike Prime device. So I went into the applications on my Mac and I went into the Spike folder and then I right clicked on Spike and I said show package contents. Now if you're on a PC you might need to go into program files and looking for the looking for all the contents of the folder but then I just searched inside that folder for mp3s and then as if by magic all the sound effects came up. They're kind of listed in a random order with a strange um, file name but I worked out that if I made my had my own sound and had the same file name as one of these it could replace an existing sound now it's a little bit risky because you don't want to replace a sound that you might want to use in the future because when you replace a sound it goes away forever 
So you pick one that you think you might not ever use. I went through all these and I was looking for a sound here, looking for a sound there, and I'm trying to find one that was easy to remember what it was and that I might not use again. And then when I did it, I actually opened up an app that I had that I wanted. I wanted. I screen recorded the sound off YouTube actually. I just screen recorded it, and then I could convert that to an MP3 using this awesome Wondershare converter I've got but you might have your own way of making an mp3 or you might already have an mp3 that you want to use so anyway the goal for this little bit was to make an mp3 so I just screen recorded this and once I found the mp3 um, I deleted the original screen recording and then I had that sound that I wanted to replace so I copied the file name of the one I wanted to replace and then pasted it into the file name of the new mp3 that I had and then it was a little bit tricky because it wouldn't let me copy it straight over but if you right click on the file and went show in enclosing folder then you could see inside the folder and you can replace files in there so you just drop it in there and it will ask you do you want to actually you have to authenticate it first in other words put in your password and then you have to it's just confirming that you want to replace the existing file and then once you've done that it's completely replaced now I knew from my experience that the sound that I used was called bonk bonk like that so <laughs> I was gonna go into my library and look for bonk and I typed in B-O-N-K and there it is and when I played it I found out that one new sound was there, but it looks a little bit dodgy because there's a lot of blank sound at the start and a lot of blank sound at the end. So I needed to edit it by trimming it at both ends and saving it, but I wanted to make it a bit louder too. So I did all that after I made sure it was right. That's pretty good, so I press save, but you can also make it a bit, I think I made it a bit louder as well so that it sounded better and then you can select it from the list yeah bonk too because i saved because i pressed saved after editing it and made a copy called number two now you can make it play when it's uh in when a distance sensor is activated so you can get the distance sensor block and type in maybe 20 centimeters and then when someone puts their hand in front of it or walks in front of it 20 centimeters away it'll play the sound here's an unsuspecting man walking through a door i hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe uh if you if you found it a bit hard to um use your own mp3s uh, then don't just use the other sounds that are built in because they're pretty fun and cool anyway please don't forget to like and subscribe this is robot man check out my other videos bye